Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're talking about the final of this Kawasaki KR500 GP Racer. This is a Tamiya kit. This is really cool. This kit was from 1983. This kit, I've never built a motorcycle before. This kit was gifted to me by Mr. DD over at Model Cars uh, over here on YouTube. Um, yeah, hey, I really appreciate uh, the gift. And um, I built it. Uh, being my first motorcycle. Kind of ran out of words there. Anyways, um... This is my first motorcycle. This was really cool to build. Uh, being a 40-year-old kit, I did not use the decals. The decal sheet is right here. Judging by the few decals that I did use, I probably could have used the decals. But I wasn't about to take that chance uh, beforehand. So I built this kit, did it step by step, uh, and I painted the body blue instead of the really cool green and white that it is. Uh, in retrospect, I wish I would have painted a brighter color, but it is what it is at this point. So we're a minute into this video, so let me do give you the reveal of the Kawasaki KR500. So move the box and boom. So this kit here went together really freaking sweet. Be my first motorcycle. Ooh, it's got a little stand there that doesn't want to stay up on the stand. But anyways, I'll just spin it around manually. Look at that guy here. Yeah? So I painted the body blue, put a coat of wax on it. Uh, the um, all the motor and stuff, which you really can't see, it's kind of a shame because I did quite a bit of work on it and did a quite a bit of detailing painting on it. You really can't see any of it anymore. Um, like I said, I did it all step by step, straight from the instructions. It went together so perfect, so well. Uh, I used the Kawasaki decals that are on the fuel tank, also on the uh, right here. The uh, the gauges used. The Gauges, wheels, tires went together very well. I mean, th this was just sweet looking. I mean, it, the whole thing was sweet. Let's get the stand out of there. Like I said, it's got that stand. I had to redo um, the body here is two separate pieces. I had to redo that a couple times because uh, I glued or painted them separately, glued them together, and it kind of became a glue bomb on the bottom there. But uh, that's actually why I chose the decal. That decal didn't want to take too well over there. These decals I actually took from the uh, the Dirty Donnie 19, um, ooh, what year was that? I want to say it was a 71 Charger, the Dirty Donnie set. So I just took the, the, the ghoul and put them up there and the two little ones in back there. So like I said, this kit is freaking sweet. It's a Tamiya kit. Uh, I'm definitely willing to do another Tamiya kit. In fact, I've been looking online for more kits. Um, uh, to see, we we'll see what uh, gets me. It does not have the window up here, like it shows on the box right there. Um, I had the window. I know I did. The box had fell, and it was in another box, or it fell into another box. So I'm gonna go through the other box and uh, see if that window is still in the box. Like I said, if I can get this thing to stand better, it'd be perfect. And I, I love this kit. This is a beautiful kit. Can't say enough about it. Highly recommend it, and I really, really want to do some more, uh, do some more motorcycles. Like I said, this little stand here. If I can get that stand to work properly, it'd be a nice display. But this guy, bad boy's gonna look sharp on the shelf. So, hey everybody, thank you for watching. Don't forget the the like button. If you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I got a lot of cool stuff going on. So. In retrospect, in retrospect, in conclusion, let's go with in conclusion. In conclusion, get yourself one of these bikes. I really, really enjoyed this. And again, thank you to Mr. DD for the gift. Really, really appreciate it. All right, everybody, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, take care of yourselves.